you guys. <laughs> oh my god. Here, let me see if I can. Really barely moves. Like, okay, cool. Whatever. I'm just gonna leave it there. Here we go. You guys, I cannot believe I just did this. Wow, okay. So I got my nails done. Here they are. Cute little sparkly sparkle with matte. Okay. And I got my toes done the same thing, but just sparkle. Oh my god, you guys, I just went to McDonald's because we're doing a mook long here. I accidentally left my door open. How do I do that? I had to pee. I could have sworn I shut my door. I could have sworn. I've never left my door just open like that. Like, I just parked at McDonald's, took my time peeing, and then, like, went in and ordered my food, and was talking on the phone, and then, like, I came back. And my door was just wide open. Nothing's gone from my car. My door was wide open. And I'm literally stressed about it. Like... How can I just forget to shut my door? Like, this is my car. Like, someone could have tried to steal my car. Or stolen stuff. What if I left my wallet in here? Someone could have stolen my wallet and they could have stolen my car. Oh, my God. So, I'm just freaking out about that a little bit. Like, literally, my heart hurts because of that now. But I'm going to film a video. <laughs> And if it ends in the middle, sorry. I'll just have to upload two separate videos because my friend's supposed to be calling me. I got, ooh, I need a fresh. Large fry. I can't believe I left my door open. I've just been so stressed lately, y'all. Sweet and sour sauce for the fries. This is eating McDonald's on a budget. Right here is what I say because I got a 20 chicken nuggets the other day and it was $30 or 30 <laughs> it was $7 it was $6.99 for 20 chicken nuggets and then I got a dollar cheeseburger and a large drink and I was like why is this $10 then I got a dollar cheeseburger with mayonnaise and shredded lettuce on it in the large fry. Oh, she long. And these are fresh. Um, I'm time for it because I've been eating so much salt lately. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm like, you know what? Let's go to McDonald's. I got a job. I go to Sonic. I start tomorrow. It's right there. <laughs> but okay. Thank you. And I got a dollar large sweet tea, white ice. I don't know what to do. I'll just put it up here beside Patrick. <laughs> All right. So let's try one of these cheeseburgers. But I start tomorrow and, um, okay, hello, like I wanted you to open. What I was gonna say, oh yeah, and I, I sold my old iPhone and my Xbox for a hundred dollars, so I got my nails done and I'm celebrating. There's no cheese. No, I'm gonna have to go back. Ugh. It's just right there, but like still, I still want a cheese on it. It's called a cheeseburger for a reason, girl, and there's ketchup on this. Guys, I'm gonna have to leave you running while I go in there. Uh, I'll take you with me, but it'll, you'll be down here for sure. That's great. Oh, that's me. I don't really know what I just did. I don't know. Mm. I forgot this was recording. <laughs> I'm just eating fries right now. 
because they might redo my whole order because my fries won't be hot anymore. We locked the car this time. Get the drink. And now we go. Oh. Okay. The car is locked, honey. I'll show you my outfit for today. Yep. <laughs> okay. All these things. <laughs> I kept my sauce this time. <laughs> oh. Hey. Oh no. <laughs> no. It ended it. Well, I tried. <laughs> oh, it's too hot in this car. I can't. Well. She's too shiny. I don't know why it's so shiny. Whatever. I'm so sorry that it cut out. I'm just going to have to upload two different videos. But she ended up giving me a fresh fry like I told you. <laughs> mm. All right, thank you so much. Like sarcastic boys getting literally, I said two cheeseburgers, lettuce, and mayonnaise only. Like literally, I still meant cheese. Like it's still a cheeseburger. I didn't want a cheeseburger. I said one dollar burger. <laughs> but I got extra fries. <laughs> were shit talking though they were like this is only lettuce and mayonnaise it's only lettuce and mayonnaise like girl i still meant cheese idiots <laughs> like it'd be different if i got lettuce and mayonnaise only it was like it doesn't have ketchup like yeah because you didn't say that <laughs> but on a cheeseburger <laughs> you know every <laughs> Okay. Yeah, I don't know if these are fresh or or not. Wow. They just threw this on there. There's lettuce all over, or there's mayonnaise all over the side of this. What a holes! I went to high school with that guy too. It's a simple burger, dude. I paid 50 cents for this barely any lettuce. Huh. Oh, I forgot this was there. Yeah, these fries are piping hot. <laughs> I'm just gonna upload two videos. This will be the part two, and that'll be part one. <laughs> They're so hot, I can barely hold them. I still can't believe I left my door open. Those are so hot. Jeez. Oh, 
Oh, there are napkins. That's nice. And another sweet and sour. Yes, manager. That manager is popping. She's great at her job. What, girl? You fix my order. We gave me fresh fries and the fresh sauce. Like. Like, how good of a manager is that? And she's been nice. She deserves money. Like, she did really good with her job. And she deserves a raise. Like, thank you. For remembering, I wanted more sweet and sour sauce because I've already eaten half of this. Heck, there might be a part three to this if my friend calls. This is good, but this is eating on a budget. Two cheeseburgers, fries, and large drink with seven bucks. With tax. Which is cheaper than the dang chicken nuggets and the drink. And this, I got a whole meal out of it. that girl's heart. Sonic, she just runs around. You know, I just realized people go to Sonic like they can pull up and eat in their car at first I thought they were just supposed to order and then leave but they can eat in their car mm. at least I thought you had to order and leave I guess not <laughs> I can feel the saltiness on my taste buds. Wow. Just shriveling up. <laughs> I haven't really been posting on you now because I have been eating and watching YouTube videos instead of getting on my you now. I used to eat out all the time. So I would just go on, you know, anyway. Wow. How kind of her. She's great. <laughs> A plus, girl. Ooh. Mm. A plus is what she gets. Because she did a great job fixing my order. Those guys are being a-holes. And she chucked one like four times while they were shit talking. When she was like, did you get those cheeseburgers with lettuce and mayonnaise and cheese? <laughs> like, those are so obvious. 
and they were like, mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Gosh, that's one thing that I'm not ready for at Sonic. I don't really know what I'm going to be doing yet. Like, they, I told them I would pretty much do anything but car hop. Um. All these kids that just like sit outside here, they stress me out. Like, I don't like waiting on like little 12 year olds, like, because they're just such a holes nowadays. I mean, yeah, I'm even a holes, I guess, because I used to get bullied on. Like, I know you're figuring your body out, but dang, there's no need to be a whore and be mean to people and do all this, just like. Play with Barbies and play on your phone. I'm gonna hold that MLS tag, okay? Um, oh. I was gonna ask my friend to come with me, but I was like, you know what? This is gonna be a me day. Like every day is a me day. <laughs> But I mean, like, I'm gonna get my nose in by myself. Relax. By myself. Okay, this sauce is done for. And this glasses, ugh. It just feels so oily, so I'm just gonna get that real quick. in my yard today oh my gosh I was like I need to get my nails done <laughs> after that okay this one's more accurate I mean still there's like three pieces of lettuce on it but I mean it's still on there <laughs> now every time I go to McDonald's I'm gonna be like I want a cheeseburger with cheese <laughs> Those heifers take me so seriously, like. I like that they made their cheeseburgers a dollar. Heck, I wish their chicken nuggets were a dollar. <laughs> so I love those, but. Can I have everything you want, he. Our school starts in a few days. I'm so nervous for history, you don't even know. Mm. Wow. Glad these little 12 girls haven't noticed me yet. <laughs> I just swallowed a bit of a fry hole. <laughs> wow. Alright. So that's how I'm going down. <laughs> fries. I wish I had fries for a dollar. Okay, this guy didn't even try. <laughs> oh. 
There's really like barely any lettuce on here. That one piece is the most lettuce that's on this whole thing. <laughs> Mm. And our fries, they're going strong. Ooh, that one doesn't even need sauce. Mm. Oh, maybe just a little bit. <laughs> Gosh, I get so self conscious in person. In person out and about like and I do my gloves like this like I'm right in front of the the drive through I'm right in front of Sonic like everybody can see me I've got a phone clearly in front of me with lights on so it looks like I'm filming something and I don't know it's just awkward for me like I'm just a small town fatty like filming herself you know like I'm fine for you guys to see it but And we had 50 subscribers, but somebody unsubscribed, which is fine. I get it. <laughs> but that's fine. I did they want you to stay and enjoy it instead of just, like, subscribe because you can. Well, sometimes I just get, like, so self-conscious so when I see people, like, staring at me when I'm filming. Because I've literally thought of making YouTube videos. I mean, everybody has, pretty much. <laughs> Since I was like 10, I used to film videos of myself, doing my makeup, doing my hair, even though I'm not very good at it, clearly. <laughs> I'm okay at doing my makeup, but I stopped trying recently to do all my makeup. It's just too much work. But I love to do it. It's fun. I want to get all glam and put lashes on and do my makeup. And I love watching um, makeup videos. But... I'm so like, oh. that being said, I never have. Like, I used to take, I used to make vlogs of me and my cousin, my little cousin, walking around his neighborhood, like, talking, just doing random stuff. And we would watch him back and we'd laugh. And we loved it, but we never shared it because we were just so, like, embarrassed and ashamed of doing something that we wanted. Like, I'm not, I'm not obsessed with YouTube. I love, I love the concept of it and that you can watch other people and I've always loved YouTube even before YouTube was a thing like I used to this is embarrassing but I used to um, when I used to play with Barbies when I was younger I used to um, YouTube and kind of make Barbie food out of clay and like I would watch people make like tiny furniture for Barbies and like all this stuff and then I started to slowly watch like makeup tutorials and hair tutorials to see like try to get tips myself and then i came across youtubers o2l and jenna marbles and graveyard girl and and shane dawson like all those like amazing people and then i just was hooked <laughs> since i was like 10 like literally like, I know everyone's like, YouTube's my life. I just love it so much. Meh. Like, but I do. Like, it's crazy. I've watched so many videos. So many. Probably thousands. Thousands of hours worth of content. I just love YouTube. And I love, like, connecting to weird people. And that's what YouTube has always been about. And maybe... Maybe it would have been cooler if I, you know, had started this channel 13 years ago like I wanted to. 13. Ooh. I have been like 8 around them, but. Oh my god, it's getting dark, though. But you get the point, you know? So if you want to do something that you want, do it. Screw everybody else. I wish I would have started my YouTube channel when I was 13. Because I just have such a big passion for it. Like, I love YouTube. And what it does for people. Like, literally, 
and Superwoman. I love her. I watch her all the time. Her older stuff too. Uh, I'm so full. <laughs> I just got a text. Sorry. But anyway, I love YouTube. I was depressed for two years, and maybe I'll say that, say the story. My grandma doesn't even know the story, and she's like the closest person to me. Maybe I'll tell that story. <laughs> another time but a lot of stuff happened in my life literally my whole life was flipped upside down and I was depressed for two years extremely depressed and it's normal to be that way like it's normal to be depressed it's normal not to be depressed depressed is a feeling it takes over your life you know oh I didn't blow my nose I can't talk anymore y'all give me a second I know I'm like getting all like lovey-dovey but like I need to blow my nose in order to breathe so hold on Oh, that's so much better. Oh, what was I saying? <laughs> I always do this. I just ruin moments like this. Oh, I feel so sweaty and sticky. Oh, that was my last napkin ever. <laughs> okay. But I was depressed for over two years. I know it was at least two years. Um, seventh and eighth grade and a little bit of freshman year of high school. But the moral of that story, I do not want you to pity me. I want to relate to my viewers, viewers, ew, ew, ew. I want to relate to you guys because I have been there. Everyone has been there. You think you're alone. I totally thought I was alone. I, was, I, I thought I was so alone and I was depressed and I still get depressed. I was depressed last week for a month. It happens. I wasn't as depressed as I was back then because I've, I've grown from it and I've learned what to do to help. I, I can make a whole video on it if you want. I'm not going to uh, uh, I'm not going to make a sob story about it. I just want to help other people that felt like they were in my shoes. Because I have been through depression for two years. And it's still, it's still on and off ever since then. But it's not as long as a year. The longest has been a month. I'm sweating, y'all. This air, I've got my air on, but my car isn't on, so the air isn't really hot. Ugh, maybe that'll be a little bit better. It's like warm air blowing at me, so I'm just sweating on the blow. Warm air, but anyway. Anyway, I was saying I was depressed for a reason. All these ambulances! I'm worried. Hope they're okay. Anyway, all these ambulances. No. <laughs> the reason why I was saying that this is how I am in real life. Like, there's so many distractions all around me. But these fries are gonna get cold. <laughs> the reason I was saying that I was depressed is because you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is about to be a failed mukbang video <laughs> for the third time. But we're okay now. This looks creepy, so we're gonna turn that on. But I got a phone call, like I said. So there's gonna be a part three. <laughs> Oh, it's so dark out here. Anyway, we still got a bit of a cheeseburger. With zero lettuce now. Mm. I've been craving cheeseburgers lately, which is good. Because McDonald's has cheap cheeseburgers. They don't have cheap fries, though. Jeez. Fries are expensive. Mm. I'm sorry about that. Now I'm ending it, and you're gonna have to click on three videos. And I'm sorry, but I talked a lot in this video, or in these videos, and can't repeat that because it was just made up stuff that I was thinking in the moment. But if any of you are ever depressed, feel free to message me on my social medias. I will answer you. Like, I'm not one of those a-holes that I'll be like, yeah, hit me up on social medias and then, like, never answer. Like, I, I I'll talk to you guys. Even if you're not depressed, I'll still talk because it's fun. It's cool, you know.
Mm. But if you try to be sexual, no. I don't deal with that. No, uh No. I won't let you be sexual because I've had some people actually try to do that. And I've had to block some. And I never thought I'd be that because I'm always such an awkward person. <laughs> like, no one's hit on me. Like, I'm a very awkward person. Yes, I'm eating baby fries off of the lid of this drink. <laughs> Hi. But yeah, I'm so happy and excited. I feel myself again. And I've always been myself, but like I feel just happier, uplifted about life in general. I'm trying to become friends with my best friend again. Because <sighs> best friends, you might argue with them sometimes. But if it's a true best friend. Like, true best friend. I've been friends with her for, like, almost nine years now. It's a true best friend. Like, you can't let those people go even when you're stuck in really hard situations. I was in a really, really hard situation with her recently. That we've never been through any of this. And it broke us up. And I was so depressed afterwards about her, about my life, about everything. And it was just so upsetting. And so I was like, why am I not reaching out to her? Because we had... A terrible situation that happened to us and we were both a-holes to each other like like excuse my French but shit happens you know like if you have a true friend you need to try to be friends with them your heart is because relationships aren't about the good times they're about the bad ones too and it's worth it you know if you have a best friend and they're like your other half you know you spend like half of your life with them even if you don't, you could be best friends with someone you met for like five months. Just like when you feel that connection and you're sad when you're not with them and stuff like that. Like, you consider them your family. And then if if you have something like tragic happen, maybe I'll tell that story someday too. Oh, I'm so full. Two cheeseburgers and a large fry, girl. Oh, hi. Oh, I just threw up a little bit. Oh, mom. Anyway, but when you go through those things, you have to keep hope. Like, you have to, I know it's stupid, everybody says this, but you have to keep trying. You know, relationships are about everything. It's not just about the good or the bad. It's about your whole life and things that bring you two together. It's like a, it's a relationship, you know? Like, with your family, for an example, like, sometimes you're mad at them. Sometimes you get kicked out or... Or they cuss at you, or bad stuff happens. You know, there's a million scenarios. Bad things happen, you are still their family at the end of the day. And no matter what they did to hurt you or what you did to hurt them, you know, it's equal sided. It goes both ways. You know, maybe you said something and it hurt them really bad, so they did something back. And you're like, why did they hurt me? You know, it's there's more in every story. And just try harder. Sometimes it's not going to work. Sometimes you try your hardest and it just doesn't work. When you have a gut feeling, like, always trust your gut when you have a gut feeling telling you. Like, I had dreams about this. Like, every single night I'd have dreams. And I just, it was always on my mind, like, constantly, constantly on my mind. So, that's just me saying, you know, trust your gut, trust your, trust, trust your conscience. <laughs> trust your conscience. Um, and it, like, but, Things happen for a reason, you know. We're closer because of the stuff that happened to us, you know. Stuff happens. And not all of it's good. More than half of it will not be good. But those few good moments are what you latch on to. I'm into that. <laughs> and technically, I've been filming for like 30 minutes, even though each video is like 6 or 10 minutes. Like, sorry. Stuff happened for some reason. My phone stopped recording the first time, and then the second time, I got a phone call. So I'm so out of breath. I ate two cheeseburgers and a large fry, girl. But I think I've really talked. I'm going to try to get on you now more because I love talking to you guys, to the world. <laughs> And my life is probably going to be hectic. 
<laughs> I'm pretty sure that's her. But anyway. What was I saying? My life is probably going to be hectic. School starting. I'm starting my new job. I'm trying to get best friends with Jessica. She's the one I was talking about. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> but yeah. I have so many live bumps like all over my tongue because I haven't eaten fast food like in the past two months and I've eaten it like three times this week. <sighs> but yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'm so happy that I'm back. I feel like I'm back to myself. I'm back being happy. I'm so excited to start my job because it's something new, you know. Do new things. If you hate hiking, go on a hike. Be careful though. There's a lot of ticks out, okay? There's a lot of ticks. I was just getting gas yesterday. I found a tick on my leg. Like, I know I live in Tennessee, but y'all, there wasn't like woods surrounding the gas station. Like, I don't understand how I had a tick on my leg. Like, but be careful. Always check your whole body. <laughs> Including your butthole. My friend, my cousin, he got a tick on his butt cheek. I'm pretty sure it was him or one of his friends. And they went walking through the woods. Like, y'all, you never know. Be very careful what you do. Especially if you hike, put some sprays on or something because stuff happens. I'm pretty sure that's Jessica. <laughs> but anyway. Is it... No, it's not. Okay. I'm going to end the vlog. Thank you. Vlog. If you want me to vlog, let me know. Okay. I'm going to try to edit. Okay. Or I'm going to try to see if my friend will edit something. We're going to make something happen. Because I think vlogging's fun. And sometimes I do nothing. And I watch this girl called Pink Sparkles. And I love her vlog. She's just sitting at her house. But I love like her cooking dinner and like her cleaning her house and petting her animals and just talking being herself like I love that and most youtubers are like oh I'm going to London Bridge oh I'm going out to eat with my friends I'm going to this party I'm going to this event like like that's not everyone's lives you know like everyone everyone is so different and I like to see the at home vlogs too even though some people think it's boring I love it I love watching her vlogs but you guys should check her out um she's great <laughs> I feel like she needs more subscribers like I just love like her attitude on life and like how she is and how she's so real like I relate to her so much <sighs> but again I'm gonna end this vlog it's been 10 minutes now and I'm going to wait for my friend and feel free to message me anytime you guys like I'll message you I'll talk to you like I'll become best friends with you like I'll tell you what's on my mind if you need advice I'm always here I love getting advice and I've been told that I'm good at giving advice. I'm very wise. <laughs> Even though, like, nothing's really happened to me. Like, a lot of stuff has happened. But it's just... I'm going to leave. Turn my air conditioner on. I'm burning up. <laughs> and I can't breathe because I eat so much food. But thank you guys for watching. Subscribe. Go to my you now. Follow my other social medias. Message me if you want. I will message you back. Except if you're creepy and being... Um... Rated R <laughs> is when I pronounce that to me. I'm I'm not sweaty. Like in here, I'm a little glistening, but here I'm like a glazed donut girl. Like I only put contour here and here. Like, <laughs> uh, sorry, that was gross. Guess we're family. <laughs> Bye, guys.